Before I left for Costa Rica, I imagined that I'd venture out into the jungle and get into some dangerous situation like a manly man. I didn't expect to be gently holding yawning orphan monkey babies while I tenderly nibbled on my fingers looking for their dead mother's milk. Mother location. Let me back up though. My girlfriend Juliana had a business conference in Costa Rica, so I tagged along. We checked into a Marriott one night, where instead of adventure, I found the adventure guide. A thing of pure horror. Golf, shopping, massages, water stretches. Is this adventure? There were signs that indicated what time the adventure started and what time it ended and how much it would cost. We were in the jungle, but there was a complete disconnect from the nature and the culture all around us. But Juliana had an idea. She had heard about this monkey rescue that was kind of off the beaten path. Sure, I thought, real animals, that sounds better than the mini plastic animals they sell in the souvenir shop. The monkey rescue is run by Vicky, Steve, and Brenda. We found out that every day monkeys are electrocuted on uninsulated power lines that are strung throughout Costa Rica. The monkeys will be swinging through the jungle, they'll come to a power line, think it's a tree limb, and get electrocuted. It's horrific. This leaves hundreds of dead, injured, and orphaned monkeys throughout Costa Rica. Enter the Nasara Wildlife Rescue, who rescue, rehabilitate, and then release the monkeys. That's where I met Charlie. Did you hear about Charlie? Oh, no, where's Charlie? Uh, he just walked That's Charlie. Charlie was um, injured pretty severely from burns when he was on his mother's back. When she got on a transformer, it killed her instantly. She actually caught on fire. And the babies on the back were holding on, and um, they received burns. His fur was all singed. His fingers were seared shut. I mean, it's around the clock. You just stay with little sick ones like that. I'd say 95 to 99 percent of the ones that are severely burned don't make it past the fifth day. But they weren't going to give up on Charlie. So I flew him, uh, flew him into San Jose, where um, we amputated these two fingers because they were just gone. And they don't function really well, but they're like uh, claws. But he healed up, he went through the program. And everybody said, how could you ever release him like that? I said, you know what, let's just see, you know, let's give him that chance. And when they released Charlie into the wild, not only did he overcome his handicap, but something remarkable happened. The wild males are very aggressive when it comes to uh, prioritizing food, and, uh, and they will assert their aggression to not only the males but the females as well. Charlie was much more forgiving in that regard and we think that the uh, troop, the females, kind of liked his more tranquilo uh, personality. And now you're going to see him, he's out loose, he gets around just fine, he's in charge, he's the, the hefe guy out there. Jerks, take note. Nice guys get the girls. Up to six, evidently. And the morning we visited, one of Charlie's lady friends had a baby. These are two rescued orphans that are now raising their own baby in the wild. Uh, it's good to see them out free and jumping in the trees. It's where they belong. It's like a second chance. The whole time, the, the monkeys were swinging from Juliana's hair, grabbing the microphone, adjusting my camera's focus. They're so smart, and they're so close to being like we are. You know, can you imagine being locked up because you're cute? Okay, when a baby monkey yawns, it's probably the most adorable thing ever. When an adolescent monkey yawns and shows its teeth, it is terrifying. Any notion that I have of these guys being pets is gone. Vicky and Steve and Brenda, they work 17 hours a day every day. They, they chop vegetables for the monkeys. They work with the government to insulate the wires. There's no manuals here. It's just doing what you think is right. They deserve to be out free in the jungle. Later that week, I, I mountain biked in the jungle, I rappelled into a cave, I, I jumped off some waterfalls, I felt like a monkey freed from his Marriott cage. But really, I was just a tourist here. A, a tourist whose air-conditioned room was causing more power lines to go up and ultimately kill more wildlife. Again, Juliana had a great idea. She arranged for Brenda and Steve to come talk at her business conference, and they brought along some surprise guests. We passed around a hat, and everybody dropped a little money in. And the amount raised will probably only provide them with a week's worth of supplies, but in some small way we helped this guy get back into the jungle. <laughs>